What's up, guys? Welcome back to another stand-up comedy special review. Today, we are taking on the Rat King himself, Theo Vaughn, in his new special released uh, October 19th called Regular People. Uh, if you guys don't know, I've done a few of these before. I did Brian Callens. I did Brennan Schaub's. Uh, when he did You'd Be Surprised. And then Brian Callens' Complicated Apes. I meant to do Bill Burr's Paper Tiger. It was phenomenal. There was really no reason. I, all I was going to say is that it was absolutely phenomenal and damn near flawless. Dave Chappelle's uh, new one, The Closer. Everyone knows the controversy surrounding that one, so I didn't touch that one. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, by the way, I thought Dave uh, knocked it out of the park, obviously. But today, we're talking about Gang Gang, Theo Vaughn. And I could not be more excited. I was waiting for Theo's new special for quite a while. Uh, he had one more on Netflix right before this. It was a couple years back. Some people said not Theo's best work. I thought it was good. Uh, you know, for Theo's mind space at the time, I thought his, his one that he did last time was good. This one. Regular people shot here in Nashville, Tennessee, which is where I live, uh, at the Ryman Auditorium. I've never been there, but whoever shot that did a fantastic job. That one shot specifically of Theo from behind uh, where you could see the stained glass window was really, really cool. It was really cool. But let's jump into the actual review of the stand-up special. It was about an hour long, almost exactly an hour long. Theo starts with a lot of energy. Uh, I don't want to spoil too many jokes. I don't believe in doing that because even if you're watching the review, you've probably already seen the special or you wouldn't want to see somebody else's review of it. I try not to spoil jokes. I may give little hints there, um, but I'm not going to spoil his jokes. But he comes out with a lot of energy. He's pacing. He's kind of like wide stance, excited Theo, kind of how you see him when he gets excited on the podcast. He kind of widens up and gets a little more animated boy, and he kind of starts that way. About 10, 15 minutes into the set, he sits down. And he really tries to like dive into the set that he had prepared. And this is where I want to start the review. Theo Vaughn is so goddamn good at what he does. Theo can mix the energies like no comedian I've ever seen from club energy to big theater energy. There was a moment, and I wrote it down in my notes here, there was a moment where Theo engaged with the crowd, where he was talking about, uh, you know, we're all a little gay, man, and the, the crowd kind of stopped. Now remember, he's in the Ryman Auditorium. He's in the Ryman Auditorium. That is so massive uh, on a scale of just notoriety and importance. This is a big crowd that he's talking to. Silence. And the way Theo sits in the silence, Sebastian Maniscalco talked on Joe Rogan's one time about just being able to sit in that silence. Theo knew he told a banger joke, sat in the silence like he was sitting at the main room or the belly room of the comedy store. Like there was a hundred people there. And he just sat there and let that moment sink in. And then the whole crowd erupted after that. And it was it was seriously just, it was a, a tip of the cap to Theo and how well he handled that moment. Obviously, this is going to give away kind of my vibe of the review. Theo Vaughn crushed it. Theo took his skills, right, as not only a comedian but a podcaster, and he combined the two. He took the energies that he's so good at with the clubs and his ability to perform on huge stages like the Ryman Auditorium, and he mixed this perfectly together where he was, he didn't ad-lib really with the crowd at all, but there was one moment where he said something, it was a very funny joke, and he goes, oh man, I, I went too far there, the, you know, that was Satan working through me. Theo even while going on uh, such a polished, you know, special. That's what's, what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be your best, your most polished set. Theo is so good in podcasts so frequently, he's able to kind of catch the vibe of what's going on in the room, which good comedians obviously can do as well. But Theo did it so well where he didn't hold himself to his set. He allowed things to... Uh, if maybe he fell off of a joke or he got sidetracked himself, which he'll allow himself to do on his podcast, I'm sure he enjoys that freedom to be able to live in that moment. And it brought out the absolute best, uh, in my opinion, of Theo Vaughn. I did take a couple notes here, and I, I want to check in with those to make sure that um, 
I don't miss anything. Theo's art, right? The what makes the Rat King the king, right? Is Theo puts you so hardcore in your imagination, in your own mind. You're imagining these, let's be honest, sometimes, most times, probably fictional people that don't really exist. But he makes them so real, right? In the moment that he's creating the name of the person, you can kind of tell that he's creating the name. But he builds this character and their whole upbringing and who they were to this community. He brings it to life in such a real way that you can literally imagine almost like the cartoons that they make for the podcast where you can see this happening and then there are little moments where Theo will pull you back into the actual moment and go, oh no, I'm watching Theo do this performance on stage and oh, by the way, he's been up here for 30 minutes already. That was one thing I was very conscious of. Uh, I'm very aware, you know, Brennan says it all the time that most people can't survive past 28 minutes in a comedy special. Theo's energy and Theo's comedy allows you to be able to take the whole ride, I think. Because Theo's, he, he's not one track. He's not taking you through this slow drudge of a story that takes a minute and then bang, it hits. Theo's the whole time just knocking you on your ass either by his faces, the faces he was making the whole time were making me laugh just as much of, as the jokes he was telling. His movement on the stage and how he used it, it wasn't too much. He didn't pace back and forth like a psychopath, more like Cat Williams style, where Cat Williams was all over the place. He made it work. Theo mixed it. He didn't just sit the whole time. And then once he got on the stool, he didn't stay on the stool. He got up when it was appropriate and he made it work for him. There was one moment he ends up on his back and you could tell it was just kind of a filler joke that he had. And uh, this is one I don't mind to tell. He goes, oh, these pants are so fucking tight. And he was. He was wearing, like, extremely tight black jeans. And you could tell Theo was almost just taking a minute to sit in the moment of what was going on and not make it so serious. He's performing his special for Netflix at the Ryman Auditorium. Let me lay on my back <laughs> and talk about how tight my jeans are. I just think that absolutely everything about Theo, uh, you know, is, is what people want. And here's the other thing. It's called regular people. Theo has this amazing ability with his creative mind and his imagination. He takes these scenarios that are so extreme, people with disabilities, and, uh, you know, he's constantly uh, taking what people would say derogatory about other groups and he's saying them about himself or he's creating I would say fictional characters that depict things that we don't talk about in normal society and he creates these people so well to where you don't know if it's true or not so that when he says it you go well what he said was true like it's true <laughs> and it's sure a lot of people were probably uncomfortable with it with talking about you know different disabilities that he talked about but when he was saying he had like he was saying one guy had a little bit a little hit of the autism and just how smooth it was when he said it and what he was talking about the kid uh you know in his class being under a blanket it was just it was so relatable especially if you went to like public school and you you interacted with all sorts of different people. Theo did a great job. And I think this was a time where we needed this the most. Theo was able to connect everyone. And I think in light of the Dave Chappelle, uh, the closer special, I think this is a special they should be promoting. Uh, I will say this, when I went on Netflix, it wasn't featured. I had to search actually pretty hard for it. I had to go search Theo Vaughn. Uh, and even then they tried to get me to watch, they put Chappelle's special first. Uh, I had to slide over and click Theo's. And as I sit right now, uh, I still have my Netflix on. Theo's first special just popped up uh, as a recommendation for me to watch. I, I wish they would promote it more. Theo really did a good job. And I think this is a very unifying special. If everyone's so upset 
that they think Dave Chappelle's The Closer was so uh, divisive or whatever, well then push Theo's. Because Theo is literally just telling stories about, it's not about black, it's not about white, it's not about Hispanic, it's not about LGBTQ, J as he calls, that's not my joke, that's Theo's. Um, Every community, right? We all have places we can relate on. It's only if you choose to live in this small-minded little world that you can tell Theo Vaughn has absolutely no uh, interest in living in. Theo lives in the real world where real people are and he wants to connect to those people and he does that perfectly in this special. I could not recommend it enough. I don't care what Rotten Tomatoes or any other critic says about it. There was not a miss in the entire uh, special. So if you haven't seen it, head over to Netflix, check it out, Theo Vaughn, regular people, and let me know if there's any other specials you guys want me to review, I will do that, Uh, just let me know in the comments below, don't forget, thumbs up, it helps, it helps a lot when you guys do that, subscribe, and like I said, let me know what else you guys want to see reviewed, love you.